Juan from the Doghouse Game Room. I wanted to let you know about a little problem that uh, Xbox One seems to be having and how it got fixed. I went to it earlier and noticed that I couldn't see my wireless network and my other devices could. So moseyed on to Microsoft to see what the issue could possibly be on that because I figured it was something within the system and you answer a couple questions it asks if you can see any networks and you put no and it asks if your other devices can see any networks and you put yes and then they tell you that your Xbox needs to be sent in and you're thinking that sucks because I don't want to lose my game system but that's actually not true the issue is, is that it just needs its cache to be re, re uh, to be emptied, I guess to say it better. And so the way that I ended up doing this is that you come down here to go offline. And this was done just because of the fact that I wanted to make sure that it would reset the network also. Or the, I guess the adapter. Anyway, so you click that, and I'm not going to click that now because obviously then I would lose my stream. And so you would click that, and it's going to clear the right side of it, and you're basically going to be offline. Then at this point, you want to press the button on your Xbox that ends up uh, shutting it down the hard way, and at this point, once it's turned off and all the lights in the back are off, then you want to unplug the power. And I found this to be easier than chasing it down on my surge protector to just unplug it from the back of the system. And you want to wait three minutes. So I came back to my computer and just basically watched a little bit of Facebook and after three minutes it passed, then I went and I plugged it back in. And I turned it on. Because you can't turn it on through your controller at that point. All of that stuff is needing to be re-established. Your connect won't uh, respond to you saying turn on Xbox. You just have to turn it on by the machine button. Once you've done that, it will fire up and it takes a little longer to start, but once it's fired up, then you go back to your connection on your internet and you go back online. And then you can go to set up wireless network and it will actually have the list of your wireless networks at that point. Beforehand, it had nothing. It just had to add an SSID and even when I put in the SSID it didn't see it and so that was a problem. So don't freak if you see this. Um, I do understand that it also fixes other glitches that may occur so don't automatically call up Microsoft and send your machine in. They're is an issue apparently with the cache not being uh, dropped all the time and there's no settings within Xbox the Xbox uh, interface to reset this cache so I wanted to give you a heads up let you know that we are back with our Xbox one and we are definitely going to be streaming some Xbox games here in the near future have a good evening and until our next stream, we'll see you at the Modern Retro Plaza.